My name is Mary Webb. I'm a walk case manager for the YWCA, and the walk stands for Women Out of Corrections. I work with women that are coming out of the King County jails, women that um, don't have anywhere to go. I case manage them, and how they get connected with me is when I go into the jail, I do two groups a week in the King County Jail. I do life skills groups up there, and it's just a group to teach them how to take on different behaviors and dealing with things. After connecting with them, then I go back every two weeks, and then I meet with them individually. I do case management on the outside for them, that is connecting them with talking to their POs, talking to their um, CPS workers, or even talking to the attorneys and doing things that the attorneys don't have time to do. Even those that are already out and they are um, living elsewhere, I can still case manage them. The thing about my job is I'm a case manager for life, so if they don't see me for two years, they can always come back to me and I can always help them. What I do is I, this is a very intense program and it has case management along with it. There's a six months, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, housing here. And I house four women at a time. And what I do is they're, they, I make sure that they're connected with mental health, drug treatment program, and that they're um, connected with a doctor, whatever they need. After that, then I sit down with them and we go over their service plan to find out what they need and how I can help. I help we have housing here for six women, for four women, I'm sorry. And it's for six months without rent. You don't, they don't have to pay rent. And they have their own room, their own refrigerator, and they share the bathroom in the kitchen. Then after that, they, um, they meet with me two times a week. They're, um, when they, I try to set it up to where after they come from groups, then they see me in the afternoons. Those that are going to different um, uh, drug and uh, alcohol treatment, they have a different schedule, so I see them during the morning. They also have housing, I mean, housekeeping, where their laundry can be done for them, and um, if they want their laundry done. If not, then they can keep their own laundry and do it themselves. Also, um, when they're seeing me, we go over a service plan again. We go over their goals each week to make sure they're meeting those goals and that they're doing what they're supposed to. I let them know that I'm not their mother and I'm not their dictator, but I'm just here to help them meet those goals to be successful. And after their six months, we try to find them permanent housing. And so far, we've got seven people already in permanent housing. I have, one, I have many success stories, but the success story that I really like to talk about is a woman that was in my program and she kept having to go back to jail and all the time she went back to jail, she wanted to give up. She came home one day, was packing her stuff and I encouraged her not to go. And so in staying, she went through the program, she did everything the courts required her to do and she got her kids back to this day. She's in permanent housing, she is a success story. And many times we sit together and she talks about that, how she wanted to give up. This program is a help to those that really want to get their life together. We're trying to advocate for more rooms because I'm seeing that when I go to the jail, I find more people that are in need of this service. This service has helped many women. It's a time to come in. I know six months is not a long time for them to come in and get themselves together, but it's a start. It's enough time for them to reflect on what they really want to do. We take time with them. We know they might relapse, but we take time with them. We work with them. We work with them, and we work with them until they decide they don't want it. So we don't just put them out because, you know, they're falling. We wear their shoulder to help them make it to the end. There's so many success stories, but the, the program is geared to help them to, to get themselves together. I go to court with them for this moral support, even those that are in jail. I go to court with them um, just for that support, if nothing else. Sometimes the judges and the attorneys are stunned that they have a case manager that's there to encourage them. And sometimes with the judge knowing that they have a case manager that's willing to work with them, he will not give them such a steep penalty on their charges, and I've seen this. Uh, the one that I talked about, my success story, she they were going to put her back in jail, but when I went to court with her and explained to the judge, 
that this housing she would lose if she went back, they worked with her. So this program is a program that has really worked. I mean, I go out there and I advocate for them if they have evictions. I try to advocate for them. Uh, even when I'm trying to advocate, I'm trying to work out where I go to see apartment managers to see if at least we can work with one client, maybe every year or so like that to get them into housing because a lot of times people that have felonies, they can't get housing. And what happens is it's the extent of the felony is what they're looking at and the year is what they're looking at. So if it's not a bad felony like a possession or a rape or abuse or something like that, we can work with that. But if it's you know, worse than that, then they're, they're not going to rent to them. But so I really try to advocate on behalf of the client to really get into housing. So that's another part of the program that we're taking a little bit further is trying to get these people into housing because they paid their debt to society. So in this program, I go 100%, even though they might not be able to go 100%, but I don't drop them. I work with them and work with them and work with them because that's what they need. Sometimes they just keep falling, but my, my job is to work with them, to help them, to help them to understand that there is a better way. And, a lot, and sometimes they don't get it until the very end, but at least they get it. At least they have that support to where they know that they can get it. Then we have them go to their AA meetings, and they have to report back about that, that they're going to those and what they're learning out of that. And I also teach class at Mount Talbot on Tuesdays, where a lot of them go to um, group at. And in there I teach life skills group. And then I pick up other women that don't know about the group. So the... I also go to Angeline's, I go to Mary's place, and I talk with different women to see, you know, how I can help them or what I can do for them. And a lot of people don't know about the program. So I try to get out there and get the program out as much as I can. Um, the women in jail are excited that I can come and do stuff for them on the outside, which uh, helps them a lot. Like I had one lady that was in there and she had... Um, she wanted to. She wa she was going to be released, but work release didn't know that all her charges had been, you know, released. And the jail told her she had to have someone on the outside go there. Well, I was able to go there and take care of that for her, and they was able to realize that the charges had been dropped except one. So now she is in work release. So a lot of the women inside, even just going there just to talk to them, gives them a ray of hope. Whereas not having anybody go there knowing that there's some, sometimes attorneys can't get there. So by me going there and being able to talk to their attorneys is helping them a lot. I've seen the, the product of it. You know, I've seen what it does for them in there. The only thing that I wish we had more of was more rooms for the women to be able to help them, you know, change their lives around. And this program really helps them. And also, when I go into the jails, I let them know that, you know, if I don't have a room, just work with me. And then when a room comes available, then I can get them in. So it's, it takes a while, but if they just be patient, they will get in. And praying that we do get more rooms. So, you know, our program really works. I've seen the product of it. I've seen... The women that I uh, go visit, I do off-site visits, I go to their homes, I visit them, I call them up, take them to coffee, um, I call them up and invite them to group if they want to come to group. I mean, there's so much. I even give them bus tickets if they need bus tickets. Uh, if they need uh, a voucher for clothing, I give them that. If they're in jail and they need clothing, I take them clothing. It's just, this, this program is such a, a good program for the women that are incarcerated. Now, if they're in the jail and they see me while I'm in the jail and they go to prison, I can still work with them. Our program is just set up for people incarcerated in the county jails so that it keeps them from reoffending. But the prisons, when they're coming out of the prison, I can't help them because that's not what we're set up for. The only way I can help them if they're coming out of prison is if they see me at the jail or they was in one of my groups. So that's what how we're set up, but I would love to help those that are out of prison, but that's not what the you know the contract is for. But um, I've seen so much that has been done for the women that I believe this program is 
a helpful program for women incarcerated. And I've even talked, talked with social workers and talked with their uh, psychiatrists, connected them with different agencies for counseling. I've seen the product of this job help those to become successful. All they need is just that compassion, someone to take time with them, someone to help them learn different ways to deal with things, and they can become successful uh, citizens. But if you, if you always downtrodden, you know, beat them down all the time and not see the other side of where they're coming from, a lot of them are coming from abused homes, a lot of them are coming from families that don't care, from domestic violence, but if you can help them work past that, you have a successful client.